First name, last name, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I'm Samantha Spoto, and I am 23 years old. And I'm Ellery Lamb, and I'm 22 years old. Okay, so we're here today to talk about anxiety. Yeah, I have a lot of it. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, me too. All the time. <laughs> Can you describe what it feels like? Sure. My mind just starts to race like crazy. Just like I start thinking about all of these potentially bad things that could happen. And so it's all very much in my head. It's a very internal experience, very like bodily, if that makes sense. Like I'm very in my own element kind of and everything that's happening around me might trigger the anxiety attack but then when I'm dealing with it it's very much internalized everything else is tuned out and when I'm having a panic attack it feels like a slug like a salted slug you know when you have all of these slugs outside of your house and nobody really wants them around so they put salt on them and they like shrivel up kind of and you watch them like coil in on themselves that's kind of how I feel when I'm having an anxiety attack um I feel it a lot in the mornings that's like the height of anxiety for me and when I wake up it feels like like a jolt of electricity it's like my organs are like on like a sizzling pan or something like they're just constantly shaking and I feel like one little push and I would just sort of crumble and when it feels like that I just feel like I need to get really small and quiet and still. Can you name some of the places that you've had panic attacks? Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> trains, parks, um, college cars, campus, trains, train my own bedroom, bathrooms, my car, my room, classrooms, um, um, libraries, everywhere. Just it's never ending, it happens everywhere. Sometimes you're not prepared for it, sometimes you are. I've learned that you can't run from it. You just have to face it in the moment as it's happening. My anxiety is also so connected with being in New York. Um, like every time I go into New York, even now, even this morning, I have like a knot in my stomach before I get on the train and I, I don't know what it is. It's just, yeah, I've had panic attacks on the train, it's sort of, I'm thinking, oh, I had a panic attack there once. If I go back, what if it happens again? Right, negative association. Yeah, kind of like it's like the fear of it happening versus it actually happening. Right. Yeah, I think that's what anxiety has been for me. It's mostly just the fear of something happening. And so sometimes even coming into New York, I'm just like, there are so many people, there are so many things that could happen. And, you know, you watch the news, of course, and, like, you hear all of these terrible things. But, like... I don't know, at a certain point it's like you can't shield yourself too much from the world and you have to just kind of throw yourself into it and just see what happens. Like, my anxiety is definitely related to, like, fear of dying, for sure. Not just, like, my own fear, like, of myself dying, but of, like, people closest to me dying. My anxiety was centered around this idea that if I was separated from the people I loved, I would never see them again. I think I'm just afraid of going to sleep a lot of the time because, you know, it's that unknown. It's like, you're asleep, so you're entering this state that, like, you know, you sleep through for so many hours and you have no control over what happens or you're not really thinking, you know, you're not aware of, of things. And so, you know, for a while it was like, I could just not wake up and not even know. So I think going to sleep is definitely, that's when most of my anxiety happens. It's interesting that our anxieties are kind of opposite, like, and yours is so heavily connected with death and sleeping. And then for me, it's like sleeping has been so safe and confining, and I know I don't have to do anything, and I don't have to be anything to anyone. And then I wake up, and I'm like, oh my god, I have to do this day, and I have to do all these things, and I have to be a functioning human in the world. And it's like, I don't know. I don't know if I can do that today some days do you just like check out and you're just like I'm not gonna do it today I'm not gonna be a functioning functioning human yeah. being um that's always I feel like I start every day with that debate like maybe I just won't leave my bed maybe I'll just stay safe right here um I don't know life is just there waiting for you and you're I just think I 
generally have to decide to get up. It's like it's like that one step at a time thing where you're like, okay, I'm laying down. I can put my feet on the floor. And you're like, all right, I did that. Now I can stand up and walk and brush my teeth. That's a lot all at once. <laughs> but I can do all of that. And then as soon as you know it, you're in your day. 